Ever sat down at your PC, type your Windows passwords, and suddenly Windows decides it's never heard of you before? You try again. Caps lock on, caps lock off. You squint at the keyboard like it betrayed you. And then it hits you. You've locked yourself out of your own computer. If it's a local account, great. That's fixable. But if it's a Microsoft account, welcome to the cloud convenience prison system. But don't panic. Today I'll show you how to reset either one the right way without reinstalling Windows, without losing your files, and without selling your soul to Redmond. And yes, if BitLocker's turned on, this gets spicy. Stay grumpy, let's fix this. Welcome back everyone, Grumpy Sysadmin here, the guy who fixes the stuff Microsoft swears is working as intended. So you've been locked out of your PC. Don't panic, I've gotcha. Whether it's a local account or a Microsoft account, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get back in. No expensive password recovery tools, no sketchy software, just real fixes that actually work. So grab your coffee, hit that like button before Windows decides to update and reboot mid-video, and let's unlock this mess the right way. Step 1. You need Hirons. We're using the Hirons Boot CDPE, the Windows 11 based version. This isn't some shady hacker thing, it's a full repair environment, built for fixing disasters like this one. Grab a USB drive, make sure it's at least 8 gigs or larger. Next, we're going to download Hirons Boot CD ISO. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Open your browser and go to the HirensBootCD.org. Once there, click on download on the top of the page. Scroll down a bit and click on the hbcd underscore pe underscore x64.iso link to download it. Next, we need the tool to write it to the USB drive, so let's go ahead and download Rufus. In your browser, go to rufus.ie. Scroll down and click on the portable version to download it. I like using the portable version since it doesn't actually require it be installed. You can simply just run it. One thing I almost forgot, you'll need a working computer to make the USB on. No, you can't magically create one. You're locked out, not Harry Potter. Step 2. Create the boot USB drive. Open up Rufus. If you get a user account control message, click on Yes to continue. Next, click on Select and choose the Hirons ISO you just downloaded. Now before you hit Start, press this key combo. Hold down Alt and press the letter E. This flips Rufus into a dual BIOS and UEFI mode. Translation, it'll boot on just about anything made after 2007. Then click on Start. You'll get a security warning about a revoked UEFI bootloader and security violation screen. You can just ignore that. You're fine. Go ahead and click on OK. Then another warning. This will destroy all the data on your USB drive. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Click on OK again. When it's done, you now have your Windows Emergency Toolkit of Doom. Step 3. Boot from your USB drive. Now, time to boot from it. Restart your PC and mash your boot key like it owes you money. F12, F9, F2, delete. It might even be escape. It's different for different machines, so basically whatever your manufacturer decided at 3 a.m. after 5 Red Bulls. Don't know your boot key? Google it. I'm not psychic, I'm just grumpy. Then boot from your USB drive. Step 4. Check for BitLocker. Once Hirons loads, it'll look like a Windows 11 desktop. Open up File Explorer. You know that little yellow folder on the taskbar on the bottom of the screen? Look for your C drive. If you can browse it, good news, it's not encrypted. If you see a padlock icon, congratulations, you're dealing with BitLocker. And here's the rule. If BitLocker is enabled, this won't work unless you have your 48-digit recovery key. Can't log into your Microsoft account to get it? Yeah, chicken and egg kind of problem. That's why I made a whole other video about backing up your BitLocker key. You might want to go watch it if you haven't already. 
If you do have your key, you can unlock the drive and continue. But understand this, resetting passwords on an encrypted drive can lead to data loss, login issues, and serious headaches. Proceed on an encrypted drive only if you know what you're doing. Step 5. Launch the Password Reset Tool. Click on Start, All Programs, Security, Passwords, and finally Windows Login Unlocker. It'll scan your hard drive and show any Windows installations it finds. You'll see user accounts listed below. And if you spot one with a Live ID set yes and PIN set yes, that's your Microsoft account. Right click on it and select Reset Password. That clears the password and converts it actually into a local account. Right click on it again and reset the PIN if it has one. Now both Live ID and PIN should say no, and password should say blank. Microsoft account, gone. Go ahead and restart the computer. Step six, log in and clean up the account. When Windows starts up, just click on sign in. No password needed. Windows will look confused, just like it woke up in someone else's house. Let's fix that. Click on start, then settings, accounts, and your info. You'll see you need to verify your identity. Ignore that button. It's just trying to shove you back into Microsoft's clutches. Instead, click Stop Signing into Microsoft Apps automatically. And boom! Your account is now fully local. No password, no Microsoft login. You're free. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Step 7. What else you need to know? When you reset a Windows password like this, Windows drops stored browser passwords, network share logins, and some saved credentials. Why? Because it encrypts them with your old password and you just wiped it. So yeah, some stuff will log you out. Not the end of the world, just log back in. Pro tip, use a real password manager like Dashlane or Bitwarden. So next time you don't have to play password recovery roulette. Step 8. Final Cleanup Before you call it a day, do yourself a favor. Create a secondary local admin account. Back up your BitLocker key properly and store all your passwords safely. Then bookmark this video because future you might panic one day and past you will look like a genius. And that's how you reset your Windows password the right way whether it's local or a Microsoft account, without reinstalling Windows and without begging a repair shop to do it for you. If you want to protect yourself before something like this happens, watch my BitLocker video next. It'll save you from total disaster. And don't forget to subscribe because Microsoft sure isn't going to remind you how to do this. And as always, my friends, stay grumpy.